<laughs> there we go, Sardis gets it. Finally. <laughs> it's okay, Ramesh, I still love you. There we go, starting off on PS2. Pokemon Trainer versus Krom. Oh god, no, Krom is such a fun character to watch and to play. The extreme bias here, I don't even care. I love Krom with a heat with a heat of passion. But still, Pokemon Trainer, no, nothing's off at. Definitely fun uh, and exciting to watch. A lot of variety within this character. And we see now as I were just taking command of this first dot. Oh no, oh, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh man, that's how the water gun <laughs> pushing him off stage, but he gets caught by the down B and or the up B anyway. Oh yes. Oh my god. Okay, I'm 100% satisfied now. That that interaction cured my heartburn. I cured my insomnia. I'm like I'm a he perfectly healthy human being now because of that interaction just now. God bless it. All right, here we go. Uh, Lumen's trying to take command of the second uh, second stock here. Zara already switched out to Charizard. Definitely going to give Lumen a bit of an advantage since being such a big body. But uh, Zyro is such a smart player. Builds up the damage and gets the kill super well. Oh my god, just like that. What even happened? Wow. Okay, so Lumen losing his second stock. And the forward smash. Oh my, okay. See, this is why I love Krom. Okay, like, 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 oh my god. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh, I love Krom. I don't even care. So, okay, Lumen, Lumen wins. I don't care what the results screen says. This match has been awesome so far. Zyro taking command of this last stock, though. Keeping him in the air. Trying to... I think this is why he's been sticking his world so long. He wants to get the water gun off stage. Gimp him with, uh, with the recovery. Definitely Krom's uh, sort of weaker point right there. Oh my god, but Lumen just throwing out the F smashes. He wants the stock. Here we go. Uh, Lumen gonna have a tough time dealing with uh, dealing with the uh, the razor leaves. That's definitely tough for Jeff Dahl to get around, especially with none of your own to kind of answer back with. Lumen's sitting at 85 percent. Zyro, oh my god, the F smash on shield. Here we go. Dangerous situation to be in for Lumen. Oh my, oh my god, oh god, almost like I think that, uh, I think I passed out for a minute there. Like good lord. So, so here we go. Oh, to be honest, this game. Might as well be even. Looks like Zyro definitely is maintaining that momentum. Lumen still has the jump. Wow, great conversion by Lumen there. Getting back off stage. Oh, wow, that Flare Blitz. Such a scary option. Especially at this percent. You don't really care if you get more percent right now. You just want to finish off the stock. Good job in the forward air, confirm. Oh my god, the forward smash! Oh, Lumen taking that game one. Oh my god, Lumen. Lumen, I love you, dog. Like, for real. I don't even know you and I love you. God bless Krom. Everyone bless up Krom. You know, leave out leave out unpeeled oranges for Krom tonight. He's going to stop by and bring you some really good combos. Urameshi, Krom is awesome. You know, Meta Knight, never heard of him. Krom, yes. Wow. Great job by Lumen. Good lord. So we go jumping into game two. You see now he's <laughs> Zyra still kind of <laughs> he's still looking around. So jumping into battlefield here and now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, this stage pretty advantageous to uh, to both characters here. Chrome definitely likes the platforms to extend his up air combos. Same thing the Squirrel and Ivysaur though. They keep bullying you as long as you're up here, which we see right now. Skrull has the water gun on deck as well, so Lumen wants, definitely wants to maintain that center stage control. Oh god, trying to catch him with the F smash. But that platform gonna help him uh, recover a little bit. Oh, going away for the down smash. Lumen's kind of starting to regain a little bit of that momentum, that up air almost taking it. Such a powerful uh, up air coming out of Ivysaur. Oh my god, the F smash. <laughs> there we go, off stage again. The F smash is gonna catch him on the roll. Good call out by Zyro to uh, call that ledge option. Meet him with the F smash. Staying committed to that option as well. Definitely not easy, uh, an easy thing to uh, commit to. Especially versus a character that can kill you, just super easy as well. So now we see Lumen. Kind of pulling back a little bit. Not something you want to do versus Ivysaur because that Razor Leaf can just close in the gap so, so quickly. Wow, great down throw into up tilt confirm. Gained so much damage on the second stock. Almost taking out that stock as well with the uh, with the Vine Whip up the off, uh, 
Up off in the uh, corner over there. Man, dude, if those raid leaves look worth like Ling's boomerang, oh my god, I was going to be busted. Got projectile going both ways, ugh. So here we go. Lumen Sand at 108%. Still trying to find a way to deal with this first stock. Zyro is definitely busting out the moves on this on this game two right here. S Smash almost taking a great DI by Zyro though to stay living. And now we see that switch to Charizard. Didn't go for the up throw. Definitely uh, wouldn't imagine he'd gone for that. I didn't read the ledge up with the F tilt, taking out uh, Lumen's second stock. See, uh, Zyro getting a little bit of pressure at the edge there, but can, uh, gonna manage to get out of it. I'm trying to get the F tilt. There we go. He's gonna the F tilt, man. Such a good, uh, such a good kill option. Now back to the Squirtle. Definitely a little bit hard for Chrome to deal, with, especially when he has that water gun on deck. Oh, and there it is! There it is, the water gun. Oh my god, that that pains me. Whatever I was cured of from that last match, it's back now. That heartburn, back. It's all like I am, I am, I am diseased again because of that second game there. Zyro, I'm, I am unhappy with you. Here we go, going to game three here now. Zaro, see with that Pokemon trainer. Lumen going Inkling. Okay, so we definitely know he has that, uh, <laughs> you know, he has that Inkling on deck. No, Stardust, it's okay. You know, I'm drinking that water. I'm staying hydrated. I'm fine. I'm cool. So we got that Lumen sticking on that, uh, or going with the uh, Inkling here now. Definitely, uh, probably have a far easier time dealing with the Pokemon trainer now. Doesn't have to worry about his recovery being, uh, being a, a hindrance. Here we go. Kind of just playing the spacing game now between both these uh, both these characters. Straw has a great early on uh, early percent combo uh, potential. That Warden look, looking a little bit like Mario's Flood. We've seen how Anti uses that, so hopefully he can start to uh, adapt to that and use it similarly. But the switch to the Eversword now. It's starting to it's starting to get into that percent. You know, Ingly is not the heaviest character, so moves like that can definitely take out stocks super early. No call out by Zyro to use the Vine Whip right there. Great job taking out that first stock. Uh, Lumen answering back to some percent of his own. Starting to get some ink on the Ivysaur. And he's going to make it... Wow, he's going to make it bad. Great switch. But the Flare Blitz can take him a little bit too far on the stage. Lumen immediately evening up this game. Good dash dancing trying to uh, mix him up. And then we see again that Squirtle combo potential just coming right out. Switch to Ivysaur again. Starting to uh, take into that mid percent, so definitely Ivysaur is the call to go here. Still get that great uh, combo potential and opens you up to a lot of great kill options. You see, uh, Lumen definitely still holding his own, not not conceding this game just yet. Trying to get the two frame uh, with the down smash, that definitely would have uh, definitely would have been a game evener right there, but still Lumen not in a bad position at all. Zyro, same thing. The switch to Charizard doesn't really mean, mean much to him right now. So kind of just playing the waiting game, waiting for that opening. Lumen gains to that dangerous kill percent. I think Forthor's not going to do it just yet. Oh god, that flamethrower off stage. It's definitely hard to deal with. F not gonna take it. Sour spot it. Good ledge job right there. Gonna allow him to dip back on stage pretty easily. Still trying to deal with taking out the stock from a Charizard. It's definitely not an easy thing to do. Especially as England, you definitely want to get that roller set up into an up smash or a forward smash. Or get the hard read on the up smash. Oh, whiffing the grabs. Both of these players going back and forth. Lumen sitting at 160%. Oh my, great clash. I have to definitely would have killed right there. Good back air. Another good back air. Oh, almost catching mid air with the splat bomb. Gonna recharge a little bit of ink. 
Ah, both <laughs> they're just playing footsies right now. They do not. They're giving each other a little bit too much respect. Say, so, yeah, I understand that they're both in that really dangerous kill, uh, kill range. Oh man. So shots will be on the ledge versus the Charizard. There we go. That was a backer going to take out that second stock from Zara now. Switching immediately into the episode that back was going to take it. So there we go. Even game again. Last stock, last game. This is a this is a nail body right here. Lumen definitely uh, finding better results with the Inkling right now. But Zara putting on that percent super fast. Swirl still is that li it's kind of that liability factor in this Pokemon Trainer. And die super early and death percentage. And, and gets damaged super easily. But you see right now, he's just smacking Lumen left and right. Not giving him any space to uh, to make advantage of the openings. Oh, great call out with this flat bomb. Gonna get him covered in ink as well. So we're gonna be taking a lot of damage now. <laughs> Got some pop offs over here in the uh, in the corner now. Shout uh, shout shout to Tonga. There we go. Switch the Ivysaur now. Switch to Charizard now. Flare Blitz here will take it out. So the only thing is, Zyro's gotta be careful as to not let himself get bullied. But see, he's kind of hesitant on which he which Pokemon he wants to be out. Looks like he's gonna stick with the Ivysaur here now. Oh, that jab to get all that ink on there. That mechanic's such a good part of Inkling's toolkit. The fourth throw, not gonna take it just yet. However, Lumen in a very dangerous percentage to be in versus Charizard. However, Lumen not at all in any sort of disadvantage to lose the game, except for a back air right there. Good job to both these players. Very good game three right there. Zyra really, see, he hesitated a little bit right there on which Pokemon to have out, but then he really stuck with the Charizard, came in, got the back air. Shout outs to Lumen for that prom play. I'm like, that, that, oh, that's, oh my god, I feel so good after that. Like, like, fresh. So, mm. Mm, yummy. Delicious crown play. Love it. But anyway, shout out to both those players. So much fun to watch. This will be a great VOD to go over later. Uh, Vega Smash. Or not Vega Smash. Uh, Stardust, you better put that up B kill and some kind of montage coming up. I don't care. Make something up to put it in there. Put some. Put that in something. Put that, put that in something. Uh, uh, great set out both those players. Definitely uh, one to uh, both players. Keep your eyes on them. They're doing great. See, uh, 